everyone, my name is Joy and I'm the co-author of The Low Singapore Book. I co-wrote this book with a good friend of mine, Iwan, to mark Singapore's 50th birthday. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has supported us, The Low Singapore Book and Pepper Dog Press. A very big thank you. The Little Singapore Book is a fresh take on the story of Singapore and its people from its time as the old kingdom of Tamasic to the present day. Meet some sweet women, coolies, cattle farmers, and more, and discover how neighborhoods like Chinatown, Little India, Katong, and Kampong Glam came into being. And the story I'll be sharing with you today is of one such neighborhood that has seen lots of changes, and that is Chengi. You probably know it as the home of Changi Airport. But a long, long time ago, it was called Tanjung Rusa, or Cape of Deer. Singapore back then was covered in thick jungle, filled with wildlife. Deer, wild boars, and yes, tigers. Changi itself was a favorite haunt for tigers. But even the threat of tigers did not stop people from visiting its beaches, which were already popular as picnic spots 150 years ago. People also went to admire the Changi tree, which grew and grew, though it was taller than a 20-story building. An old legend had warned that if the tree falls, Singapore will fall to the enemy. And that was exactly what happened during World War II. The British had liked Changi very much. They built barracks, a prison, a hospital, a pier, houses, and a chapel. And they put three monster guns on the hills to defend the island. But during the war, they worried that the Japanese planes would use the Changi tree as a target to bomb their camp. So the British decided to cut it down. But it was so tall, they had to blast it with explosives. And when the tree fell, so did Singapore, just as the legend had warned. Changi became a giant prison camp during the war. It was a very sad place, and nobody liked to go there then. After the war, life gradually returned to normal and Changi once again became a military base and it remains so today. Many of its colonial bungalows and buildings are now chalets and holiday homes. Its beaches remain as popular as ever for picnic and camping. The next time you go, bring along your bucket and spade to build sand castles and see if you can spot baby crabs and squid. But as for the tigers, have no fear, they're long gone. Thank you very much for joining us today. I hope you've enjoyed the story from the Little Singapore book.